Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for my final video. That is my final video of 2018. Um, tomorrow's a new year. Uh, and, you know, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to wrap up this year and we're going to wrap up this year in absolute luxury and style, or at least as close to that as I can make it. Anyways, so let's take a look at the gear. The Razor, oh, real quick, one bit of housekeeping real fast. Um, welcome to a new subscriber, which puts me now at 72. That new subscriber is Josh of Shooting the Shave. Welcome to the channel, Josh. I hope you enjoy your time here. Anyhow, so with that out of the way, let's take a look at what we're going to use. The razor is going to be my most lux my most premium razor, which is the um, Timeless Bronze 7.8 or 0 0.78 blade gap double edge open comb safety razor. The blade in that razor is the Gillette Silver Blue on its second use. The soap is actually going to be a cream and it is one of my the few creams I own but it is my favorite and it's this one. Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood or Tobbs. I absolutely love the smell of this stuff. The brush, we'll go ahead and dump it out. It is one of my favorite, if not my favorite brush, and it is this one, this one, High Mountain White 24 millimeter Whip Dog uh, Badger Hair Brush in the Tall Amber Handle. And we're going to mix all of that luxurious lather up in. This here, my Crown King White Porcelain Scuttle. Real quick, dump it out. It was soaking with hot water in the water chamber and in the lather bowl part, or in the lather section. So we're going to fill it back up here with nice hot tap water which my hot water heater is one of those kind that it either runs hot or it don't. When it's hot, you try to adjust it down and it just comes out hot. <laughs> I mean, it comes out too cool to be comfortable, especially during the winter. Um, So you move it back up one notch, and that's just one notch difference. You move it back up a notch, and it goes back relatively hot. Since I'm a head shaver, I use a little bit more cream than others might. We'll smash that down in there. Put the lid on this. Don't risk getting any water into this. Retrieve my Mickey Mouse scooping spoon. Yeah, I'm a 49 year old man that scoops his soap and cream with a Mickey Mouse children's spoon. Um, but you know what? It works for me. We bought my son this set, it had the, the spoon here and a fork. When he was just learning how to use, ten, use utensils, him and the spoon didn't get along well, so I told my girlfriend, well, you know, I can use it for scooping, lather, and soap. All right, we're going to go ahead, lather this up. Shouldn't take long. Not in this scuttle. A 
couple of drops of water. Thought about using my timeless bowl, but no, I want a warm lathery shave or warm lather shave. So. Haven't had a chance to watch it, but congratulations to Ken Surfs for standing up, so that's a good sign. For making a Mantic 59 video. If you watch this video at any time, Ken, congratulations to you, man. Anyways, so, wet the face real quick. As you can see, the Fu Manchu is gone. It's because one day here, a couple of shades back, I was shaving and, oh, that feels so nice. I was shaving and just ended up slicing off too much of the goatee, not goatee, the Fu Manchu here on one side, on the right side it out too much so I promised my girlfriend I'd grow it back um, red Owen shaver if you're not a fan of his or a subscriber to his channel he made 200 subscribers so Did a shave using Miracle Whip for his first pass, not the whole shave. Just the first pass, his second and third pass was with a sh with a traditional shaving soap. The tips on this high mountain white is just are just so soft. I absolutely find this brush to be a joy to use. Anyway, so I hope you all got some nice goodies for Christmas. get a lot of shaving stuff. I got a couple of items. Um, with the grain, Gillette Silver Blue in the Timeless Bronze Open Comb. Oh yeah, it's just knocking it down. Oh yeah. Just mowing right through it. You all would ask me what wisdom could I impart to y'all for 2019 or for wrapping up 2018 that wasn't shaving related. I would have to say don't get sprayed by pepper spray. Um, and that's not a joke. It happened. Anyways, um, was, hmm, Nick myself. Had a little pimple or something there, so it's not the razor's fault. Um, The other day, actually the night of the 23rd, 
I was going to record a Merry Christmas video. But, my girlfriend and I heard some lady screaming. I, of course being me, went ahead and stepped out to see who it was in the dark. And heard some guy attacking his girlfriend and I yelled at him to try and chase him off. And, well, I say no good deed goes unpunished. And, well, I came up to my back fence and hit me in the face with pepper spray. So, that was fun. Anyways, let me rinse off. And my second bit of wisdom is, is if you ever do get sprayed with the stuff. So, oh, I know that people in the military, they have to deal with, and in law enforcement, they go ahead and they have to go through that. Um, I guess the military, I don't know if they still do it the way, but from what I was explained, they have to go into a room where the heavy-duty military-grade pepper spray or care gas, whatever you want to call it, is pumped into the room and they got to deal with it. And it's worse than pepper spray or civilian mace. So, hey, I know that Jill from She Shaves with Jill and some of my other viewers, and at least a couple of my other viewers, at least one I know, Dennis O'Drain, were both former Marine Corps. And, uh, so, hats off to you guys. You know, that's some rough stuff. Um, the civilian stuff is bad enough. And I know police, they got to get sprayed with it because there's always blowback if they got to deploy it. So, if you're in law enforcement or military or an ex-military, hands off to you guys. That's some rough stuff. But, I would recommend a lot of rapid blinking to flush, you know, let your natural tears flush your eyes. Don't wipe it down with water because that's bad. But believe it or not, after I finally regained my breath and my nose was done running like a faucet, um, my face was no longer hurting and I got my face cooled down a little cold, relatively quick by having a fan blow cold air on it. And um, my arms were still burning pretty decently and well, I, uh, start wiping them down with milk, believe it or not, and the milk worked. Didn't eliminate all the burn, but it helped. So, but yeah, so that's my wisdom for y'all for take. In 2019, don't get sprayed with pepper spray. It ain't fun. And unless you're like, um... One of my neighbors who told me years ago he had sprayed himself with pepper spray. He wanted to see how it felt. I go, well, you want to see how it felt? He said, yeah, I was an idiot. So. Um. Be back to slather up for the third pass. But well, anyways, so enough about the pepper spray. So, we'll go ahead and, you know, move on. Um. Yeah, I really, really enjoy, if you've never used a scuttle, oh, it's just so nice. Um, the lather, it's warm, feels wonderful on your face. 
Um, never though, tip, if you're thinking about getting a scuttle, don't, if it's porcelain scuttle, don't put boiling water into the scuttle because that'll crack it. And if you and don't stick it in the microwave and if you do decide to hop in the microwave for a minute to heat up the water for whatever reason because your hot water sucks, um, don't put the cork in. Do not put the cork in or else your scuttle will go kablooey. Now if you get the Crown King travel scuttle made out of polypropylene, um, you can do that. You can put it, you can pour boiling water, you know, well, I'm not sure about boiling water, but you can at least stick it in the microwave. I'm sure you probably could put some relatively hot, hot, soapy water, hot, hot water. Oh yeah. This top's just great slickness, great slickness. Um, but yeah, so these scuttles, I love scuttles. I only got one, but I imagine that all of them pretty much the same result, hot water, warm lather. So at least the scuttle I got, I love it. I'd love to get a, what do you call it, a um, Old Spice scuttle. I believe they did make them. Because um, if I remember correctly, Ken Serves has an Old Spice scuttle. So, that'd be cool. That'd be really cool, actually. Um, but, and... The Gillette Silver Blue. It's a real good blade for this timeless. Um, I tried a Bosch cod in it, and I don't know. It just, I don't know. Didn't seem to work well with it. And, um, the Bosch cod was actually a uh, second use, well, not second use. And, the shave before, I had used a, uh, what do you call it? My red tip, super speed, and that Bosch cod just, oh, it was a nice pairing, very nice pairing. There. Okay, let me check my face. Yeah, red tip and Bosch cods, great, great pairing. If you got that blade and that razor, give it a try. It's an excellent, it's an excellent, excellent match. Getting my girlfriend into listening to books with me, audiobooks, because um, I love audiobooks. I can't read printed letter, printed words anymore. So I have to. It's been a long time since I could read the printed word. So audiobooks is my thing. And so my girlfriend is listening to the book It by Stephen King with me. It's second time I've ever listened to the book. I absolutely love that book. 
I haven't seen the newest It movie, but It from the 1980s sucked. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry, the movie just absolutely sucked. Um, I wasn't real impressed with the movie then, and then I read the book, and I'm like, wow. Um, it sucks. One moment, guys. Or at least the movie sucked. So, anyways, yeah, that's great. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and switch over to the head shave, do the head shave, and let's see here. Zero, 21, stop recording video. Awesome. Gotcha. I'm going to do the head shave real quick, and then, um, and then I'll be back for the post. See you in a minute. Well, guys, that was an absolutely wonderful, wonderful shave. My cheeks, BBS, my neck, pretty close to BBS, damn fine shave, DFS on there. My forehead, my head, pretty good. Um, not perfect, but pretty good. And considering I always wear a hat everywhere I go, you know what? That's all I could ask for. Anyways, so... We'll go ahead, to consume my chisel. Yeah, Timeless Razor is just such a joy to use. I absolutely love that razor. Um, great razor if you don't have one and you're debating on it. They got a pretty good guarantee. I think 30 day unconditional money back guarantee. Um, they might charge you a restocking fee. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't remember. But, you know. Um, oh, that's my head. I need to put some on my face. But, you know, great razor. Try it. If you don't like it, send it back. Um, Tobbs, Taylor, bon bon, Taylor of Old Bond Street Sandalwood. Wonderful cream. I need to get some more of their soaps. I'm interested in that one Paul H. used the platinum. Very interested in it. For his final shave of 2018. And Nivea for sensitive skin, aftershave balm, a little bit of moisture back. Don't need a lot, just enough to give some nice coverage. But just touch, right now our heater's out. Um, manager he called some people today they're gonna be out tomorrow to fix it last time our heater was out the owners of the property it took them definitely would have been an illegal length of time to get it fixed but I threatened to call code compliance so they probably remembered That when it comes to my family staying warm during the winter, especially considering I have a four-year-old son, that I won't play around. <laughs> so, um, it's no sweat off my back if I got to call code compliance on a landlord that will not fix a heater, which, by law, he has to. Um, heat is, by law, required. So, I'll play around. But, um... I digress, back to shaving. Um, the Gillette Silver Blue, one of my favorite blades, did an excellent job of going through the whiskers. Um, I had three days growth. Did an absolute wonderful job. It's a really smooth blade if you ain't never used one. It's a really good blade, really smooth. I love Gillette Silver Blues. Um, no, that's not aftershave. And the aftershave is 
not something you would consider a luxury product. Something you can find in CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, wherever. Minin by Skin Bracer. But, I just love the scent of Skin Bracer. I just really, really do. It's got some burn. So. But, um. So, once again, I hope you all got some great things for Christmas. Um. If you got anything, I hope it was what you wanted, or at least close to it. Um, I hope you all have a happy new year. Drive safe. Um, Ken, I'm going to snag this from you, from Ken BSing and shaving. Don't drink and drive because New Year's, it happens. And for those who do drive, if you're on the same road with them, watch out. Um, and if you, do get, if you do get a little tipsy... Remember, there's things such as Uber and Lyft and taxi cabs and, you know, other ways to get home. So, anyways, that's the shave. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you for joining me. Um, you all take it easy, and I shall see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.